person to be a befitted standard to reach the steps gradually and number two, it also makes the person to be complete, it also makes the person qualified for liberation, even not liberation, even uh, still he survives, till he survives in the world, it will also <coughs> enable the person, empower the person so that he can lead a good life and also direct the other people from the same and this is the essence of samstaras, purpose of samstaras as it has been quoted in the Shastra. And we are seeing lot of samstaras in various issues I have already told. Janmana, Karmana. Each and everybody's status, it is having a configuration by Janma, by birth. That is known as inherence. And second is the status of coherence. It means the person by practicing various observations, either mental observation, physical observation, or a composite observation of the coordination of physics, mind, intellect, and soul, a person gets benefited, and that is known as Karmana. And in this Karmana, you know that I want to say, Three samskaras. There are four samskaras actually. Atma samskara, Deha samskara, Loha samskara, Paka samskara. Innumerable samskaras there. These main things we have taken for exemplification. Paka samskara means whenever you take a vegetable or something, there is a particular process by which unwanted things are removed. Second thing, wanted things, either spicy, juicy, saucy things, they are added. They are just added and decorated. And third thing, they are processed by means of boiling and other cooking methodologies. So even if we are taking that without processing, the body has a process of absorbing, body has three process. One is mala, second is guna, third is urja. Whatever we eat, the unwanted things, they have been secreted, especially that have been segregated to go for excretion. The second thing is that it is assimilated and taken in the form of nutrition. The third thing is guna, the essential primordial characteristic nature as Buddha, patient ignorance, Sartika, Rajasa, Tamasa, these characters from the food, that is the greatness of auto diet our food system, we consider that one-fourth of the character is determined by the food that we take. The apparent substance of the food, nutritional substance of the food, and associative substance of the food, who has brought the food, who has cooked the food, who has served, and who has been seeing, who is sitting with us, everything is very meticulously absorbed by our Rajasa. It is known as auto diet So this process of Pata, by the process of cooking, either internal digestive cooking, by Vaishwanara and Jatarakri or by external cooking, it is done. And Loha, you know that, for metallic extraction, purification, synchronization or amalgamation, consolidation, then application, these five systems are there. Like that, for Deha also there are samskaras. For Atma also are samskaras. So, Deha Atma Samanvaya samskara, whatever we are now discussing today is Deha Atma Samanvaya. It is meant for the joint it is meant for the joint development of the soul that is sojourning inside the body so that the soul can be gradually elevated and enhanced and a suitable and amicable executive compatibility to the body is also being given. So it is upgradation of the body as per the spiritual norms as well as it is a removal of the illusory cover of the soul so that it can be permitted for three things. For a better birth by repatriation number one, to go for advanced birth in another planet. Third thing is salvation or moksha. So this thing is the purpose for the samskaras. It is Dehatma Samanvaya. Samskaras are defined as the rituals or rites which are meant with the three portions. One is the visible portion. Second is the semi-visible portion. Third is the invisible portion. By using visible things such as water, fire, etc. Semi-perceptible things such as mantras in which we hear something, the rest of the things they are not visualized by us. That which is completely visible is the dra dravyas. Whatever we are using for homa, for any ritual, all the ingredients are visible, they are purchasable, they are manufacturable, everything. That or whatever we are using for medicines or as for commodity or for common use, you are going to use the same thing for a ritual. That is a visible portion. The semi-visible is whatever that you are applying there, its application portion is visible. But uh, its assimilation portion or the transformation is invisible. The third thing is known as Gati. It is known as Dravya, Upaya, Gati. Dravya is visible, Upaya is semi-visible. We are saying that, see, if we are sending our prayers, number one, we are sending our prayers. Prayers are visible. Then after these prayers are being sent from us, these prayers they travel, that is invisible. 
and prayers are replied by God in the form of benedictions or clemency of shower. That is invisible. Due to which we get happiness, we get progeny, we get harmony, we get lot of developments. Those things are visible. So it is a visible, invisible, invisible, visible type of uh, travel of energy. So this is uh, the idea of samskaras through visible means. Understanding the semi-visible, also trying to comprehend the invisible or imperceptible force behind the screen which really activates this process. That is what we call samskara. So, through visible means, understanding the semi-visible and trying to comprehend the invisible for getting visible as well as invisible benefits is defined as samskara. That is the paddhati for that. It can be of three types. What is the use of this fan? Sadhvaraka, first type of thing is Sadhvaraka, second thing is Pravesha, third thing is Pradhakachara. Sadhvaraka is we are doing the samskaras to somebody who cannot respond. For example, an embryo, a just newborn child, a child who is subjected to ear piercing and who is subjected to tonsure and other things, it cannot respond, it cannot understand anything. So that is known as Sadhvaraka. That type of samskara which is done to somebody who cannot respond is sadhvaraka. Second thing is pravesha. For example, akshara bhyasa, karna bhoga, jikva lekana, mantropadesha. All of these things are done to somebody even though they are not full fledged, still they can just respond to that. Those who can respond, those people, they associatively perform these deeds with us. That is known as pravesha. And the third thing is known as Pritakacharana, in which grown and mature people, they have been initiated in such a level that they can independently handle things and do that. So Sadhvaraka is known as prenatal and natural rights. And when the person just enters or peeps into the era of recognition, cognition, imagination, comprehension, attention and assimilation, that is the age of seventh, it is started with Upanayana. That is known as Pravesha. Then if a person has understood the Vedas, then whatever the samskaras are there, he is capable of governing and doing all of these things. And one more thing in samskara, they used to say Purna Siddhi. By doing a single samskara, there is no such samskara which is single or singular in nature, which can give you total refinement. Each and every samskara promotes you and creates an eligibility for its forthcoming samskara. So it should be understood once there was a samskara and vivaha and there was a very big debate about the vivaha samskara and 12 days vivaha, 7 days vivaha, all these things have been discussed by those people. And what we said is, if a person is not qualified with the previous samskara, suddenly coming for a benefit in the middle is totally, it is absurd and it is totally impractical. So what we want to say is, unless a person, it is a cyclic, it is a cyclic and it is a perpetual rotation. I want to say that. If a person has not been made the Gabhadana Samskara proper at the time of insemination, the person is not qualified for Pumsavana. If it is not for Pumsavana, he is not qualified for Simantonayana. If it is not that, then there is no quality for the Samskara at the time of Jatakarana. That is Garbha Patana or Prasuti, which is known as Jatakarana. If there is no Jatakarana at all, then there is no possibility for thinking about other benefits, such as Chuda Karana, Karna Vedi, Anna Prashana, Nama Karana, Nishkramana, Vidya Rambha, Upanayana, Vela Bhyasa, Vrata Chatur Mahabrata, Samavartana, 